Life has existed on Earth for billions of years, appearing shortly after the planet had cooled and liquid water became available. From the first bacteria to the amazingly complex animals we see today, life has colonized every corner of our planet. As Carl Sagan has said, that's home, that's us. On it, everyone you love, everyone you know, and everyone you've ever heard of, every human being who ever was, lived out their lives. We humans are the unquestionable rulers of our little oasis in a hostile universe, but all things must pass. The life on Earth, even the planet itself, won't last forever. For example, today, one of the most pressing environmental challenges that we're faced with is marine plastic debris. It can kill our oceans, and that would probably mean the end of life on planet Earth. Every year, 10 to 20 million tons of plastic ends up in our oceans, around 5.25 trillion plastic particles currently floating around in the world's oceans. Nuclear war, runaway climate change, a global pandemic, many catastrophic events await our world in the future. But how long will life on Earth survive? This is Googleplex, and here is what science says about the end of life and Earth. The largest human-made explosion to ever occur on Earth was the Soviet Union's Tsar Bomba, detonated in 1961. Nuclear war and the subsequent damage to the environment is one potential way that humanity could come to an end. However, even if all the nuclear weapons on Earth were detonated at once, the planet itself would remain intact. Humans are warming the planet by emitting heat-trapping gases like carbon dioxide. We will trigger a tipping point hidden in our complex climate system that will plunge us into the abyss. But behind the scenes, a far slower, deadlier warming process is unfolding. The sun is getting brighter and hotter over time. As it does, more water evaporates from Earth's surface into the atmosphere, where it traps additional heat from the planet. This water-driven greenhouse effect will keep going long after people have stopped burning fossil fuels that now add CO2 to the atmosphere. Eventually, Earth's greenhouse effect will spin out of control. Whatever is left of the ice caps will melt and the water itself will boil away, leaving the planet dry and parched. Water vapor is a powerful greenhouse effect. This will drive the temperatures even hotter. As temperatures rise, complex life forms will find life on Earth less hospitable. It'll seem as if evolution is running in reverse, as plants and animals die off, leaving just the invertebrates and eventually just microbial life. Plate tectonics will halt, and we will end up with a CO2 and nitrogen atmosphere like Venus has. It'll be bad. Our lovely blue planet is destined to become a grim, barren, and totally red world. That will all happen in between 500 million and 1.5 billion years from now. By then, though, will we care? As the sun heats up, making Earth inhospitable, it heats up the rest of the solar system, too. Frozen worlds will melt, becoming more habitable. We already have the technology to establish bases on the Moon and Mars, so a billion and a half years from now, we'll likely have colonized the whole solar system and perhaps other star systems in our Milky Way galaxy. The fastest spacecraft built to date, Voyager 1, is racing away from the sun at 38,027 miles per hour. At that speed, it would take 70,000 years to reach the nearest star. But future humans might build interstellar arcs, giant ships on which generations of travelers would live and die before delivering colonists to a new destination. Such star-hopping colonists could spread across our entire galaxy before Earth overheats. We could try something even more radical, move the Earth. By carefully steering asteroids so they barely miss us, an advanced civilization could distort the Earth's orbit, relocating our planet further from the Sun. As the Sun heats up, our planet would be continuously repositioned so the surface temperature stays roughly the same. Of course, this would be tricky business. Make the wrong move, and you're facing the frigid cold of the outer solar system. So, there's no need to panic. Life here has a few hundred million years left, a billion tops. But if we want to continue on for billions of years, we'll want to add solar heating to our growing list of big problems. Intelligent life is probably rare in our universe. We might even be unique, and if so, our obligation to survive is truly awesome. 
What do you think about the future? Share your predictions in the comments below and don't forget to give this video a like and share it with your friends and click subscribe to always stay with Googleplex.